Now we're gonna check out the pop top. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are showing you our new addition to the van. It's a window. It's wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> point it, so well, if I point down, you point up. That's the <laughs> thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. We've made some rather big alterations to the van, as you can see, some rather costly alterations. Now she's been away and been done up. We can show you what we've done. For starters, we have added our West Dubs pot top. Um, so we had it fitted by one of their verified installers. Um, and yes, she's an absolute beauty. Before this, I want to show you the most exciting thing. The window. In closed. Peekaboo. <laughs> and closed. And open. So I'm going to input some before and after videos now. Um, and some photos that were taking whilst it was being done. And let's look inside the pop top. I want to confirm some suspicions I have about the roof bed. So when the roof bed was put in, it's on gas hinges, um, which go up. And there's like a slight gap if you look through the side of the canvas where the bed gets pushed up. And it just almost looks like it's very inefficient the way it hinges up and hits the roof, where there's so much room at the back still, almost like a big air gap. So I want to see if we can do the bed differently. So first I want to take the bed off see exactly what kind of new headroom we were working with. The initial idea is to cut the bed into three even sections or two even sections, um, put those on hinges, see how the sturdiness is, and then actually they fold back on hinges on themselves, which means when the van is stationary, there's only a tiny bit of wood at the very back, which can roll up the mattress that's gonna be up at the top, and then hopefully give us a lot more headroom, because I'm a tall person. This is me standing full here, but directly below me is where Jordan's like little seating area is going to be um, so I've got to be a little bit further forward so when the bed's up if we both want to stand up at the same time it's going to cause an issue so yes here we go so that was the wrong bit to drill so let's try the other side So now we've taken the bed out, it's actually given us so much more headroom here. I literally would not be able to walk. I mean, I'd be bending over here just because of how angled the bed was. So if I'm stood here, it then gives me, I can walk as close as back here, all that room on the front. Jordan is going to have her bench go about here. So when we want to walk and see how we're going to be able to stand in the van, you've got to remember that this is going to be here. 
which means I'm gonna be stood about here. So plenty of headroom above me, but that means me and Jordan can then stand in front of each other. Gives her enough headroom to stand here. As long as we can both stand up, we then wanna devise some kind of system where if we cut the top board into like two or three, probably three pieces, we need them to be long so they can actually take our body weight, but short enough that it doesn't protrude out. Then I'm gonna put them here and then see how far out we need it to go. All the way out, hopefully, and stop somewhere about here. Then the third piece we want to custom make around there so we can lay it all the way to the front. They should all stack on top of each other here and kind of create like a little shelf. It's gonna be like a rollout mattress, so we should be able to get some like reusable cable ties, pull it really tight, and then kind of like jam it here. So it's probably gonna be something we venture off into another video. So we're probably gonna keep the ply down for the moment, and then we'll probably come back to that in a future video. Da -da -da -da. Wow, look at all this room we can... <laughs> no. So, uh, here she is. Amazing, actually, considering we've been kind of hunched over in the van for so long. So, to be able to be stood inside something literally allows us inside the rain, in the cold, in the summer, actually be able to stand up. It's even like simple things like when we're going to get dressed, you know, pop top will go up. Um, and now, let's have a look at the other feature, which is the bed. Gracefully done. Grace. Oh yeah. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick review for us, sweetie. What's the view like? How do you feel? Well, right now I can see the front of our garage. Wow. Very exciting. But I am very much looking forward to um, sitting up here with fresh air and having a book and a coffee in hand and snuggled. And I think it's just gonna be great. Ah. Right, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Arse in face. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you knee. Graceful as a dying swan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so very much need that extra panel or else we're going to fall in. Those are the most recent alterations that we've made to the van. Um, next is to put our floor insulation in, put the plywood on the floor. Um, but we want to make this its own little video because it's so special, so awesome, and yes. Thanks guys for watching, uh, make sure to subscribe, and uh, yeah, we look forward to releasing our next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs> My ass is in shock. <laughs>